This is how you simplify an expression using the properties of exponents. So we have 6x squared y to the fifth z all over 2x to the fourth yz. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our coefficients. So we have a 6 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is just going to be 3. Next, we're going to look at our x squared divided by x to the fourth. And whenever we divide the same base, we just subtract the exponents. So for x, we're going to do 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So we'll have x to the negative 2. Next, we'll look at y to the fifth divided by y. And it's really important to know that there's actually an understood one right there. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're dividing, so we're going to subtract the exponents. And so 5 minus 1 would be 4. So we'll have y to the fourth power. And then lastly, we have z divided by z. And anything divided by itself is just 1. And so we could put a 1 like this, but there's no reason to multiply by 1. We're just going to leave that out. So now we have 3x to the negative 2 times y to the 4th. And the last thing we want to do is we don't want any negative exponents. And so we can use the negative exponent rule, which basically tells us that we can move a term from the numerator to the denominator, and we can flip the sign of the exponent. So instead of 3x negative 2 y to the 4th, we can have 3 y to the 4th over x squared. So all I did was just move the x to the negative 2 to the denominator, and we just changed the sign of the exponent. So that is the proper way to simplify an expression with exponents, and I will see you in the next video.